Hello, my name is Shannon. Thank you for joining me for your 60 minute flow. Today we'll be doing a revolving yoga flow. So what that means is we'll be facing both sides of our mat. So a quick setup if you need. Um, if you want to place your mat sideways to the way that your camera, the video is facing, you can. Uh, if Otherwise, normally you face it directly on. Just for your own preferences, we will be facing the back and the front of the mat. And then one more thing, we'll be mostly facing one long edge of the mat in warrior. And so thinking in your body, what way are you facing the screen where you can do warrior on both sides? So your right foot is facing the top of your mat or whatever you want to be the top of your mat your left foot will be facing the back of the mat. So what I mean by that visually, if you want to see, I'm standing here, I might be opposite of you, but when I step back my left foot, warrior right foot in front looking at the front, warrior left foot in front looking at the back of my mat, the screen is to both sides. Otherwise we'll be facing this way in side planks. So just so you know where we're going, and with that, once you get all set up as you need to be, we will get started in Baddha Konasana Butterfly Pose. So as you're ready, join me here. <sighs> so sitting with the soles of the feet together, maybe you have your hands on your feet, maybe you're leaning back and your hands are right under your kneecaps, whatever feels better in your body. And we'll just take a few rounds of breath here as we kind of let go of whatever portion of the day we have thus had or getting ready for the next portion of our day or evening. Maybe you'll close your eyes. So the point behind doing the revolved flow, as I call it, is a lot of times it's easy to get into a routine, right? Uh, we like to face our mat the same way. We don't like to be off of the mat maybe. Uh, we like to do things a certain way. All of that to say we, we are creatures of habit and habit and routine is great in ordering and organizing our lives. But it is also good for us every now and then to learn to find rhythm in disruption. So we'll be facing all sides of our mat to kind of throw ourselves off today and make our brain think a little bit more about like what foot is in front and all of that. Which I know can be very useful in many points of our lives, right? This theme of finding rhythm and disruption, finding what routine and flow we can, even if we're doing something a little bit different than normal. Let's take about three more rounds of breath here. Filling everything up on the inhale. Nice, big, open chest. Gently letting everything out on the exhale. And two more rounds. Last round of breath here. And with the exhale, let something go. Maybe you begin to find gentle movement in your body. Maybe you want to roll out the neck a little bit or find torso rolls. Whatever serves your body. Finding some intuitive movement here. I'll bring that theme into class a few more times. But listening to what you need, what you need to stretch out and warm up, where you need to send some love. One more round of breath here. And as you're ready, slowly make your way back to stillness. Take a round of breath. Exhale, side out. Maybe you flutter your eyes open if they were closed. And we'll get into the legs and hips a little more. Take your right foot and extend it nice, straight, and long out. If you want to bring your other foot closer in, you can, otherwise you can just leave it where it's at. 
Sitting nice and tall on the sit bones. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, let the hands come to a T. And then slightly twist and turn so you reach for your foot with your right hand. And then maybe you gaze over the left shoulder. Left hand extends out and behind you slightly. You can keep your head active. You can rest it, whatever feels good. If this is too much, you can always keep your knee bent as well. So you don't have to be fully extended. One more round of breath here. Exhale, slowly release. Doesn't have to be in any form. Bring your feet back together. Inhale the breath here. Find some intuitive movement. And on the exhale, other leg extends long and just. Sitting tall on your sit bones. Inhale, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, T arms and reach for your foot. Opening the other hand, gazing over the right shoulder now. You know, maybe you rest your head. Taking one more round of breath here. And then as you're ready, slowly inhale, lift, and exhale, bring it back together. One more inhale, find something in the spine maybe. And as you're ready, exhale, let your hands come outside. Your knees, bring them together. Maybe cross your feet and roll onto your knees. Or just find your way onto your knees in a way that serves you. We'll be sitting in a Vajrasana, bringing our heels and hips together, sitting nice and tall. If that doesn't serve you, you can always take a block underneath, set it between your feet and sit up nice and tall, or just come to a seat, cross-legged. Take a round of breath to adjust. And as you're ready, inhale, arms reach up towards the sky, taking a twist, bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Right hand comes behind, gaze over your right shoulder. Finding movement, inhale, lift, taking it to the other side, exhale. Twice more, inhale to lift the arms up. Exhale to find the twist. Stay tall in the spine, belly button draws and try to keep your back from arching, inhale and exhale. Last round here. Linking breath with movement. And exhale. Inhale, come through center. And taking it to tabletop. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat and adjust. And turn. So you see my profile. And again, take some intuitive movement here. So if you want to do cow and cat, I won't cue it, but you can invite that into your practice. Otherwise, maybe you just sway your hips around or draw a circle or a figure eight. Maybe you let your head hang. One more cycle of breath, whatever you're warming up in whatever way that serves you. And then as you're ready, exhale, find stillness, hands plant firmly underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, tuck your tailbone slightly, drawing your belly button in, nice flat back. One more round of breath here. Exhale, side out, ground down in the left leg, and on the inhale, right leg shoots behind you. Take a second here, and we'll be rainbowing our foot, needed to move the block there, tapping it off, to one side and then the other. So as you're ready on the inhale, lift the chest, lift the foot up a little bit more, and then tapping it off towards the left, exhale. Inhale, lift the foot through center and tap it off towards the right, exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale, tap left. Inhale, lift, exhale, tap right. Inhale, last time, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. This time on the inhale, take it through center, and then on the exhale, drop your right foot off towards the left, and keep it there. We'll come into a gate pose variation, but normally I cue you to kickstand your leg. I invite you to try to keep it straight, this time using your back foot as your anchor point. As you're ready, put your left hand firmly on the mat. You can feel your shoulder rolling in. Imagine you're trying to open a jar with your hand. 
that'll provide a little bit of external rotation. As you're ready, inhale, the right arm opens up to the sky. This is a parigasana variation. If that doesn't serve you, go ahead and kickstand your foot. One more round of breath here, and then finding circles in the arms. On the exhale, drop your top arm towards the top of the mat. Maybe your chest caves a bit. And then on the inhale, sweep it back and up and open. Twice more. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward and down. And inhale, back and up. And taking it all the way back to the mat. Exhale, release everything back to tabletop pose. Shake it out. As you're ready, find stillness. Exhale, ground down in the right knee, and this time on the inhale, left leg lifts behind you. Take a moment, check your posture. One more round of breath, pressing evenly between the hands, and then finding our rainbow taps, tapping off towards the right now first. So as you're ready on the inhale, lift the leg just a little bit higher, use your glutes, and exhale, tap your left foot off towards the right. Inhale, rainbow, arc it up. And exhale, your foot finds the floor to the left. Inhale, center and lift. Exhale, gently kiss the earth with your foot towards the right. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift, last time. Exhale, inhale, center. Tap towards the left, exhale. And finding our gate variation, inhale, lift. And exhale, tap the left foot off towards the right. Again, kickstand your foot if you need, otherwise ground down in your right hand. As you're ready on the inhale, open the left arm towards the sky. Take a round of breath here. Find an adjustment in your body that you need. And then finding our circles. As you're ready on the exhale, drop the top arm towards the top of the mat, bringing it down, gracing the earth with your fingers, and inhale, open it back and up. Twice more. Exhale, and inhale, finding some shoulder mobility. Exhale, and inhale. Listen on the exhale, bring your hand fully back to the mat, and unwind, coming back to tabletop. Make any observations in your body, how do your glutes feel, how do your obliques feel. One more round of breath. Find stillness, exhale. On the inhale, tuck your toes, and we'll be hovering our knees about an inch off the mat on the exhale. Lift them up slightly to come to bear pose. Keeping your back nice and flat. Take one more round of breath here, and then we'll be lifting our hips and sending them back towards downward facing dog three times. As you're ready, on your next exhale, lift your hips, start to shift them back, and inhale, take it back towards bear crawl pose. Exhale, lift and shift up and back. Inhale, shift forward, bend the knees and drop. Last time, exhale, lift and settle in. Inhale into your first Adho Mukha Svanasana of the practice. <sighs> Take a couple rounds of breath here. Maybe shake something out. Maybe take your dog for a walk by pedaling your feet. I heard that the other day in a class and I'm a dog person and I like the imagery. Take one more round of breath, kneading your feet or swing. And exhale, find stillness. On the inhale, bend your knees, lift your hips, gaze up, and exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, hands can be on the mat or right underneath your knees, on your shins. And exhale, fold back to Uttanasana. Rising all the way up, inhale, lift your arms towards the sky. And exhale, hands come together, heart center. Take a couple rounds of breath here. Grounding down on your feet. One more round of breath. As you're ready, find balance in your feet if that means you need to move around a bit. And then as you're ready, on the inhale, arms reach up towards the sky as you lift your heels. Hold here, tuck your tailbone, belly is active, and we'll lower halfway three times. So as you're ready, on the exhale, 
lower halfway, not all the way. And then inhale, lift it back up tall. Exhale, lower halfway. Notice how your feet and knees rotate. Inhale, lift. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, last lift here. And then taking our heels to the mat as we hinge and fold. Exhale, set it down and find your way into Uttanasana. Reach for the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, and step or hop your way back to your plank. On the inhale, shift your weight forward, bending your knee or your elbows, not your knees, 90 degrees, keep them close to your chest as you slowly lower all the way to the mat. Untuck your toes, and on the inhale, roll your shoulders, send your elbows back, lift the chest, baby cobra. Take two rounds of breath. So in the planks, you also can drop to your knees and lower that way. Feel your back muscles working to keep you lifted. Try to keep pressure off of your hands. One more round of breath. And exhale, fold. Tuck the toes and maybe you push up into plank first and then find your way to downward facing dog. Or you just move into downward facing dog in a way that serves you. Side up. Take one more round of breath here. Heels reach for the earth. Maybe they don't touch yet, but that's okay. Knees aren't bent or locked out too much, but somewhere in between. Last exhale, ground down in the left foot. And on the inhale, right leg lifts up into the sky. Three legged dog. Three pada out of the spinasana. Try to keep your shoulders square, hips square. One more round of breath. Maybe lift a little higher. And stepping it all the way through. Exhale. Foot comes between your hands. Dial your back heel back and down 90 degrees so your toes face the long edge of the mat. Ground down in the front heel and cartwheel your arms open to your first Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Gaze over your front fingers, shoulders away from ears. Keep your belly active, tailbone tucked. Checking your posture here. Should be able to look down and see your front big toe slightly. So if your knee is coming really in or really out, try to find a 90 degree bend and stack. Grounding down through the outer edge of the back foot. One more round of breath before we find some movement. And then we'll be straightening our front leg as we bring our hands overhead, moving towards star. So as you're ready, exhale all your old breath out. And inhale, press through the front heel, arms reach up and tap and take it back, warrior two, exhale, bend the front leg, arms drop to a T. Inhale, lift, and exhale, warrior two. Last time, inhale, lift, and keeping both legs straight this time on the exhale, turn both toes to face the long edge of the mat. Exhale, hands come to a T, star pose. Take a second here, feel into the feet. Invite the shaking in the arms. Inhale, lift the arms back up. And we'll be squatting towards the front edge, or the back edge of your back. So we might be a little opposite here. So as ready, I'll be bending my left knee. As ready, exhale, bend the left knee, coming into a side lunge. Inhale, straighten, bending the right knee. Exhale. Inhale, lift twice more. If you need to drop the arms, you can. Exhale, side lunge towards your left, towards the back of the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side lunge towards the front of the mat. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Once more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right lunge. Inhale, lift, and we'll take it to the left side. Exhale. Option to hold here. Option to bring a block underneath your hands and hold here, or option to drop all the way in to Skandasana by sinking all the way down into that lunge. Coming on to the right heel, right toes point up towards the sky. Maybe your left heel is still on the mat, or you lift it, depending on your anatomy and your body. Take one more round of breath here. Invite the shaking in the arms, let them sink away from the ears. And then as we take the right hand towards the straight leg, like we did at the beginning of class in Baddha Konasana and Butterfly Pose, 
and then open the left arm back. Maybe you gaze over your left shoulder. So we might be opposite here and just do what you can. Or stay up if this is too much, stay up in that side lunge. So wherever you're at, one more round of breath. Exhale, side up. Inhale, arms reach back up. And this time on the exhale, take your hands to the mat, take your right hand and place it really close to your left foot. Fingers point towards the back of your mat. And this is our first sort of revolution. Come to the inside of your back foot as you twist your body and your hips towards the back of the mat. And then on the inhale, open the left arm to the side to come into a revolved lunge. I read the Anjaniyasa. So your left foot is in front, left hand reaching into the sky, right hand firmly on the mat to the inside of your left foot. One more round of breath before we'll find some arm movements. As you're ready, exhale, reach towards the top or back of your mat, and then inhale, reach your arm back and up. Exhale, drop it forward, and inhale, lift it back and up one more time. Exhale, forward and down, and inhale, open. One more round of breath here. And then let your hand come all the way to the mat. Exhale, square your chest up to mat, ground down in your right foot, and we'll hover our left as we swing it back towards the right to come into one-legged plank. Or you can just come into a regular plank, or drop your knee. Wherever you are, we'll find our same rainbow taps. As you're ready, inhale, lift to the left leg, tap it off towards the right, exhale. Your hips will swivel a bit. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap right. Inhale, lift, exhale, tap, one more. Keep energy flowing, inhale through the right heel, exhale, tap, inhale, lift, exhale, tap, left. Last lift, inhale, and maybe you lower one-legged, or maybe you drop your feet to lower all the way to the mat. Whichever way, find your way out to your stomach, roll your shoulders back, and inhale. Lift the chest, baby cobra. Take another round of breath here. Side out. Inhale, maybe lift just a little bit more. And then on the exhale, tuck your toes and find your way back to downward facing dog. So you can move into a plank first and then a downward dog, like I did earlier, or do what I just did and just find your way back in a way that serves you. Take one more round of breath before we do the other side. As you're ready, ground down in the right foot. Inhale, left leg sweeps up into the sky this time. Hold one round of breath. Shoulders stay square. And then as you're ready, exhale, draw your knee forward as you shift into a plank. Step your foot all the way between your hands. Back heel dials back and down 90 degrees. And cartwheel windmill up. Warrior two on the other side. Easing over the front fingers. Catching your breath, You're finding your breath, finding your posture, 90 degree bend. One more round of breath, and then we'll find our pulses. As you're ready, inhale, straight leg lift, hands touch overhead. Exhale, bend the front knee to bring it back to warrior two, hands at a T. Inhale, lift, and exhale down. Inhale, lift. This time on the exhale, hands stay up, turn both toes towards the long edge of your mat, and adjust, exhale. Maybe your hands come to a T, or maybe you need to drop them and shake something out. Wherever you're at, one more round of breath. This time we'll be bending the left leg first. As you're ready, inhale, arms sweep back up. Ground down in the left foot, exhale, bend the left leg, sit the hips down. Inhale, lift, straight legs. Exhale, sit your hips down and back towards the right. Right knee bends. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left. Right side. No, left side, sorry. Inhale, lift. I'm getting confused too. Taking it back, bend the right knee. 
exhale. Or if you need another revolution to come onto the right knee, go there. One more under breath here. Again, maybe you drop your hands, lifting your hips slightly. Maybe you find a block. Or maybe you sit your hips all the way down, coming onto the left heel as the left toes point up towards the sky. Again, maybe your right heel is off the mat. <sighs> Take a round of breath here. Exhale, side out. And then as you ready, drop your left hand towards your left foot, and then maybe open your right arm like we did in butterfly pose. Challenging your balance here. Maybe you gaze over your shoulder. One more round of breath. Exhale. Inhale, arms come back up wherever you're at. And exhale, let your hands come to the mat. Release the shoulders. Place the left hand on the mat super close in front of your right toes. Fingers point towards the top of your mat. And we'll find our revolution. Place the inside of your back foot on the mat as then you lift your hips and twist everything back towards the top of the mat. And inhale, open the right arm to the sky. So lunge with the right foot in front. Take another round of breath before we find some arm movement. And as you're ready, exhale, drop the hand towards the top and down. And inhale, open. Exhale, circle forward and down. And inhale, circle back and up. One more time, exhale. And inhale. And this time on the exhale, take it all the way to the mat. Frame your foot with your hands. Lean back to a one-legged plank, this time hovering your right foot. Take a second here. Again, option to just drop both feet. Option to come to tabletop like we did wherever you're at. One more round of breath. And then tapping off towards the left. As you're ready, inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, tap left. Inhale, lift. Try to keep your butt from going up in the air. Exhale, tap right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Once more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap right. Inhale, lift. And then maybe one legged or all the way. Whatever you want. Exhale, lower down. Untuck your toes. Roll the shoulders. Inhale, find baby Bhushangasana. Take one more round of breath here. Lift a little bit higher in the chest. And then as you're ready on the exhale, tuck the toes and lift the hips and send them back towards downward facing dog. Take a couple rounds of really big, deep breaths here. Last round of breath, side audibly out, let something go. Lift the heels on the inhale, hips lift slightly, bend the knees, gaze forward, exhale, step or hop your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, bow. Rising all the way up, inhale, circle your arms towards the sky, and exhale, hands from heart center. Take a couple rounds of breath here. I'll face you so you see what I'm doing next. <sighs> Find weight in your feet. And we'll be coming towards almost tree pose. So as you're going to ground down in your left foot and kickstand your right foot out. So like you're going to pull it up in a tree pose. And we'll just be lifting our knee up. So as you're ready, on the inhale, arms circle up. And use your core and your leg muscles to pull that knee up, up, up. And exhale, set it down. Twice more, same side. Inhale, lift the right knee. Try to keep your hips square. I really feel myself opening. So it's as much for me as for you. Exhale. Last time, inhale, lift, lift, lift. Hold. One more round of breath. And exhale, set it down. Take it to the other side. Ground down and lay right foot. Kick, stand left. And inhale, use your leg muscles to pull that knee up. Exhale down. Twice more. Inhale, lift your knee. And exhale down. Last time, inhale, lift. 
and hold. One more round of breath. Notice any difference in each side. And exhale with control. Release. Take a round of breath. And another. Fill all your lungs up and that will add on to the flow we just did. As you're in the arms, sweep up towards the sky or the hastasana. Soft knees hinge from the waist. Exhale, bow it forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, Ardhukarasana. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step or hop your way back to your plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward, elbows stay close to your ribs as you lower all the way down. Exhale, untuck the toes, roll the shoulders back, and on the inhale, lift your entire torso off the mat to come into rising cobra. Let's take one more round of breath here. Good, stretch out the hip flexors. Last inhale here, press away from the earth. And then now as you're ready, tuck your toes, exhale, use your lower abs to lift your hips and push them back, downward facing dog. Take a round of breath here. Exhale, side out, ground down in the left foot. Inhale, right leg sweeps up towards the sky. Take one more round of breath here, three-legged dog. Shoulders nice and square, leg lifts just a little bit higher. And exhale, step it all the way through to come to warrior two, back heel, back and down, nine degrees. Windmill open and find Virabhadrasana, dos, two. One round of breath. Exhale, side out. As you're ready, we'll just pulse up, pulse up twice. Inhale, straight leg lift, hands touch. And exhale down, moving a little quicker. Inhale, lift. Stay here, turn both toes towards the long edge of the mat. Exhale. Inhale the breath. And then sit it back towards the left, bending the left knee. Exhale, side lunge. Inhale, straight leg, center. Bending the right knee. Exhale. Inhale, lift. And this time, settle towards the left. Exhale, coming all the way into Skandasana. Or again, half lunge, an option just to open your hand to get that stretch. Wherever you're at, if your hands are not already there, as you're ready, drop your right arm as you open the left. Get an option to have your right hand on the back and open the left back. Last round of breath. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale. Plant the right hand on the mat, fingers point towards the back edge, twist everything open into your revolved lunge. One round of breath. Exhale. One arm circle. Take an inhale here and lunge. Exhale, forward and down, arm sweeps, then back and up, inhale. And now really ground down in your right hand, we'll come into a side lunge coming onto the outside edge of your right foot, draw the other foot on top of it. The left foot is stacked on top of the right. If this is a lot for you, you can drop your bottom knee and come into that gate pose variation that we did at the beginning of class. Otherwise, as you're ready, wherever you're at, we'll lift our top leg three times. Inhale, lift, keep your hips high, exhale down. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale down. Last lift. And this time, tap, bend the knee to tap the foot off behind you. And on the inhale, open your chest, push your hips up to come into wild thing. Maybe you bring your hand to your heart. Wherever you're at. One more round of breath. As you're ready on the exhale, slowly. Shift back towards a side plank. On the inhale, lift the left knee up like we did in moving towards tree pose. And we'll try to step it into a lunge directly. As you're ready, swivel everything back to the mat as you step your left foot up. Or just find a lunge with the left foot in front. As you're ready, inhale, arms sweep up towards the sky, high crescent lunge. And exhale. Release the hands back to the mat. 
Taking it back to a one-legged plank, ground down in the right foot, sweep the left foot behind. Take a second here, exhale the breath, and we'll just lift and toe tap three times. As you're ready, inhale, lift. Exhale, just tap the mat. Twice more. Inhale, lift. Use your glutes. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Shift your weight forward. Maybe one legged lower all the way down to the mat. Both legs come to the floor. Untuck your toes. Press into your hands to lift your entire torso up. Hold here on the exhale. It's like one more on a breath. And exhale, tuck your toes and lift your hips and send them back. Three, take one more out of breath here. As you're ready, ground down on the right foot, this time left leg sweeps up into the sky, doing the other side. One more out of breath. And exhale, bring your knee into your chest as you shift your weight forward. Step your hand between, your foot between your hands, and inhale, warrior two. Getting body parts mixed up a little bit, huh? Take a second here. Check your posture, check your breath. And then as you're ready, two pulses. Inhale, straight leg, push through the front heel, lift the arms up. And exhale, hands to a T as you bend the front leg. Inhale, lift, stay here. Turn both toes towards the long edge of your mat. Exhale. Take a round of breath, inhale. And then we'll be bending our right knee. Exhale, side lunge towards the right. Inhale, lift. Side lunge towards the left. Inhale, lift. And exhale, side lunge towards the right. Take it all the way down to Skandasana. Or again, you can be up here and open your arm, your right arm out. Otherwise, wherever you're at, maybe your left hand reaches towards your foot, your left foot and your right arm opens out. Maybe you gaze over your shoulder. Challenging your balance here a bit. One more round of breath. On the inhale, arms sweep up. And exhale, take your hands to the mat. Left hand plants by your right foot. Fingers point towards the top of your mat. Shift everything towards the lunge, towards the top. And inhale, right arm opens up towards the sky. Coming in a revolved lunge, right foot in front. One more round of breath before we find the circle. Exhale, drop the hand forward and down. And inhale, sweep it up. Ground down in the left hand, taking it to side plank. As you come onto the inside edge of your back foot and stack your right foot on top. Find your balance, lift your hips, finding three leg lifts. As you're ready, inhale, top leg lifts, and exhale down. Finger toes are flexed, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Moving towards wild thing. Inhale, lift, bend the knee slightly to plant the foot behind you, and then on the next inhale, lift your hips up. Coming into wild thing, opening the chest towards the sky. Take a round of breath. Maybe your hand comes to your heart. Last round of breath. On the exhale, begin to turn your bottom leg back towards side plank. Inhale, lift the right knee like we did coming towards a tree-like pose, and we'll step it up towards the top of the mat in one exhale. Inhale, rise up, high lunge, Anjali Asana. And exhale, hands bring your foot, covering the right leg this time. Inhale, take it back towards a one-legged plank. Finding our toe taps as you're ready. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Keep your back nice and flat, exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale. Last time, inhale, lift, shift your weight forward. Exhale, one-legged lower all the way to the mat. Both feet come to the mat, untuck your toes, rising cobra, shine your chest. Ah, side out. 
Let's take one more round of breath here. Sigh it out loud and audible. Inhale. And then on the exhale, tuck your toes and use your core to lift your hips and send them back. Downward facing dog. Take one more round of breath here. Nice and big. Let something go on the exhale. Inhale, lift the hips, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Hard Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale, bow it back down towards the earth. Rising all the way up, ground down in your heels. Lift the arms into the sky for upward salute. And exhale, hands come heart center down by your side. So we've just got one more flow. Each side a little bit more on, and then we'll take it to our mat. But first we'll do a little bit of a balance. Coming to full tree pose now, as you're ready, ground down in your feet. Finding your weight in your left foot. As you're ready, turn your right foot out. And inhale, draw it up. Maybe you can draw it all the way up and place it above your kneecap to come into tree pose. Maybe you need to reach down with your right hand and help yourself get there. <laughs> arms can be up, arms can be at your heart, or hands can be at your heart. And if this is a lot for your balance right now, you can have your foot right underneath your knee, or you can be kickstanding or just holding. So lots of variations depending on what serves your body tonight. One more round of breath, keep your knee pushing out. And exhale with control. Release. Taking it to the other side. Ground down in your right foot, kickstand your left, and see if with your own muscle you can't pull your leg up. <laughs> you might, again, need to help it get even further up with your hand. <sighs> but wherever you're at, Vrikshasana tree pose. Again, hands can be wherever feels centering to you today. If you're shaking all over the place, totally fine. Forgive yourself. One more round of breath. See if you can't push your knee just a little bit further out. Keeping your shoulders and your hips square. And then as you're ready, with exhale, control, or at least send everything down by your sides. So one more flow before taking it down to the mat. As you're ready, ground down in your feet, soft knees, tuck your tailbone, inhale, lift the arms into the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold it down towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Bend your knees, plant your hands, find your way back to your plank. Optional or all the way or halfway down now as your inhale, shift your weight forward. Elbows stay in, exhale, chaturanga, halfway lower. Untuck the toes, and then inhale, pushing your hands to shine the chest towards forward, Vamukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Or you can be in cobra with your hips on the earth. One more round of breath. And then as you're to use your core to lift and send your hips back, exhale. Take one more round of breath here. Exhale, release. Ground down in the left foot. Inhale, right leg sweeps up into the sky and step between your hands, exhale back. Go back and down. Inhale, warrior two. Inhale, straight leg lift, pulse up. Exhale, warrior two, bend the front knee. Inhale, lift, stay here. Exhale, both toes point towards the long edge of your mat. Inhale, arms lift up if they're not already there. Squatting it towards the left. Exhale, sit your hips down. Inhale, lift, center and straight. Exhale, bend the right knee, sit your hips back towards the right. Inhale, lift, bend the left. Exhale, come all the way into your side lunge or skandhasana. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand drops a little bit as your left arm opens back. Inhale the breath here. And exhale. Arms come back up. Inhale. Exhale, right hand to the mat. 
and inhale, twist and open, revolve, lunge. Exhale here. Last inhale. And finding an arm circle. Exhale, drop it forward and down. And inhale, open. Finding side plank. Sweep the top foot, left foot on top of the right. One leg lift here. Inhale, lift. Bend the knee to set your foot slightly back. Exhale. And then inhale, open the chest. Wild thing. One more round of breath. Exhale, side up. Find a plank, side plank in the bottom leg. And this time see if you can't bring your left foot completely towards tree pose. So fall in tree. Side plank with tree in the legs. One more round of breath. Invite the shaking. And then stepping all the way up towards the lunge. Lift your left foot, swivel everything. And adjust as you lift up into a high crescent lunge. Inhale, left foot in front. Exhale, side out. One more out of breath here. And then we'll open up into warrior two, left foot in front. Exhale, back heel, dials back and down, right foot down. Warrior two. If your arms are really feeling it, you can drop them and release them and shake them out. Otherwise, stay in your veer of Adrasana two. One more out of breath. And then we'll find half moon pose. Exhale, side out. As you're ready, inhale, shift your weight forward over your left foot. Begin to bend deep in the left knee, placing your hand on the mat in front of your left foot or on a block. And as you're ready, inhale, kick into your front foot to lift your back leg into the sky. Hips are pointed towards the long edge of your mat. Right arm extending up into the sky, lifting with your right heel. Arch on grass in a half moon. Again, hand on a block or the mat. If that's a lot, you can have your back foot tapped down and focus on opening your chest. One more round of breath before we all take it back to warrior two. As you're ready on the exhale, bend in the front leg, the left leg to set the right foot down with control. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, car wheel the hands to the mat. Release. Setting up for a one-legged plank. Sweep your back foot back and move through your flow. Left leg is lifted. Inhale, shift your right forward. Exhale, halfway lower, chaturanga. Now drop both feet to the mat as you untuck the right. Inhale, shine the chest forward. And exhale, use your core power. It is there. <laughs> Lift your hips up and send them back downward facing dog. Side out. Just one more side before we take it to the mat. Exhale, release. As you're to ground down on the right foot, inhale, left leg sweeps up into the sky. Stepping it all the way through. Exhale, shift forward. Step your foot through. Down the back, heel back and down. Come into warrior two again on the left side. So this is where we just were, right? Take a round of breath. Exhale, release. Two pulses, inhale, straight leg lift towards star. Exhale, bend the front knee, warrior two. Inhale, lift towards star, and turning both toes to the long edge of the mat. Exhale. If your hands aren't already there, inhale, lift them up. Squatting it towards the right first. As you're ready, exhale, side lunge towards the right. And inhale, lift. Side lunge towards the left, exhale. Inhale, lift, sitting it all the way down towards your skandasana, exhale on the right side. So again, I might be opposite of you because of the video, but that's okay, we're working our brains too. As you're ready, drop your left hand, open the right. One round of breath here, test your balance, invite the shaking. Notice how your body is moving to stabilize you in minor ways. Inhale, arms sweep back up. The left hand to the mat. Exhale, toes, or near the toes as the fingers point towards the front. And inhale, swivel all the way into your revolved lunge. Right foot in front. Long round of breath. Finding one arm circle. Exhale, release the hand. Maybe it graces the mat. And then maybe you open it up again. Ground down in the left hand. Come onto the inside. 
of the back foot. Inhale, stack the right foot on top of the left side. Plank. One leg lift, inhale. Bend the top knee slightly so you step the foot behind you. Exhale. And on the inhale, lift your hips. Come into a wild thing. One more round of breath. And then as you find plank, side plank again in the bottom leg. And then maybe you bring on the inhale your top foot towards tree. Rick shots in a fallen tree. One more in a breath, keep your hips high. And then stepping it all the way towards the top of your mat. Rise up into high lunge. One more round of breath. And exhale, open to warrior two on the right side. Nice big round of breath. Exhale, release something. Now as you're ready, inhale, you reach towards the front of the mat. Begin to bend into your front leg. Again, maybe you have a block or maybe your hand comes to the mat. Maybe you just hop your back foot in slightly or maybe you lift the left leg entirely into the sky. Lifting from the heel, toes are flexed. Maybe you gaze down, maybe you gaze in the front, maybe you gaze up, if you're feeling adventurous. One more round of rest, see if you can't find a little bit more lift. And then slowly with control on the exhale, bend the front leg, and inhale, rise back into warrior two. Big inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat, frame your foot, come on your back heels, hover your right foot behind you. Inhale, shift your way forward. Exhale, one legged chaturanga. Drop both feet to the mat, untuck. Inhale, shine the chest. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. And exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> I know yoga is not about the ego, but give yourself a little bit of a I don't know, gratitude for what your body can do, a little hurrah. One more round of breath. And then as you're ready, we'll take our knees to the mat. Exhale. Untuck the toes, sit the hips back on the heels. Take a second here. So you can stay here in Vajrasana, Hero's Pose. You can sit on a block if that's accessible to you. Or if you know it's accessible in your body, you can open your knees slightly and take your feet out so that you sit your sit bones down in between. So whatever works in your body. Move up a little bit so find what serves you and we'll be leaning back to stretch out the quads. So whether you're in Virasana, Hero's Pose, or Vajrasana with your knees together. Take your hands behind you, fingers point towards you. Maybe shine your chest and maybe you stay here. If you want a little bit more of a quad stretch, it's not gonna look graceful, but slowly walk your hands in closer towards you so you can come on your elbows and maybe you're here. Maybe you wanna add like a little bit of fish pose into it and you come onto the crown of your head or maybe you lay all the way flat, if that serves you. So wherever you are at. Stretching out the quads, tops of the feet. Let's take two more rounds of breath. Last round of breath. Exhale, side up. If you're all the way on your back, clumsily or not clumsily, find your way back onto your hands and we'll all find our way with a nice tall spine. Take a second, let your knees and quads and legs Take that all in. 
and then we'll be coming to boat pose. If it serves you to lift your hips so that you can cross your ankles and roll right on back, go for it. Otherwise, meet us in Navasana. Woo, falling over a bit. Take a round of breath. Fun fact, I broke my tailbone a while back and this is actually one of the hardest poses for me to do because of the way of how my tailbone is regrew or re-healed itself. Take one more round of breath, probably TMI there, and we'll pulse out. As you're ready, exhale, pulse out, and inhale, pulse up. Exhale, out, and inhale, lift. Exhale, pulse out, inhale, lift. Exhale, pulse, and set it all the way down onto the mat. Maybe you let your hands come up overhead, removing obstacles if they're in your way. <sighs> Let your body take it all in. If you like a longer Shavasana, you can stay right here. Just breathing it in and out. If you'd like to add a supine twist or a happy baby and on the balasana or maybe a shoulder stand, if that serves you, take these next couple of moments for yourself. What do you want? What do you still need in your practice? Finding some intuitive. You can bring the soles of your feet together, knees splayed out wide to get a little bit more into the hips. Scoop the bottom, come on some recline butterfly. Again, just listen to what you need. As much as the yoga teacher, I cue things, ultimately, you don't actually have to do anything I say, right? Like, you can modify what you need. Yoga isn't about trying to look like everyone around you, but just doing what your body can in that moment. if I was opposite of what you see in the video. Just work in your brain, finding rhythm and disruption, finding a way that we can still maybe be slightly confused or mix something up or be doing something different, but still find centering in our breath and our movement and our bodies. not cueing anything in these last few minutes of class so that you can find what you find what helps center you amidst a little bit of chaos or uncertainty. not already in Shavasana, I encourage you to start to make your way there. Let's take three more breaths, filling everything up, letting everything go. First the belly inhales and then the chest. So then the chest exhales and then the belly. So your last reserves are out. Make this last breath your biggest breath of the day maybe. And with control, release. Maybe you invite gentle movement into your body. Maybe you just stay here and turn me off. You 
Give you a stretch up overhead. Maybe you bring the soles of the feet to your mat. Maybe you come into a beetle position. Again, whatever serves you. Will we find our way to how we want to close out class? If you are in a seat, sit up nice and tall. Imagine that you're lengthening your spine away from your tailbone, moving up through the crown of your head. Belly is still active. Maybe you bring your hands to your heart or your third eye between your brows. Thank you for letting me be a part of your practice today, for letting me guide you through things, for letting me purposely disrupt your flow maybe in your day and your routine, your yoga routine, I should say. Yoga should be a part of your routine, but what you do on the mat may or may not be, right? I wish you the best in the moments to come. I wish you peace and centering, the light in me loves the light in you. Thank you all and namaste.